Music has always been important for me personally. I grew up in a musical household. I like, uh, um, I like uh, a musical background sometimes. Music animates me, it calms me, it consoles me. Uh, it, um, it plays a great part in my own life. But I was fascinated uh, more than 40 years ago uh, when I was working with the patients whom I later described in Awakenings, these deeply Parkinsonian patients, to see the power of music with them. These were people who, when the disease was severe, couldn't move and couldn't speak. They were motionless and they were transfixed uh, and no effort on their part would work. But music could sometimes release them and give them a flow so people who couldn't take a step could dance, people who couldn't utter a syllable could sing. And um, this power of music to release people with Parkinson's is very remarkable and very fundamental. Uh, and uh, music therapy was absolutely crucial for, for these people, and it still is. Um, uh, the aspect of music which seems especially crucial is rhythm and really people with Parkinson's, due to damage in a particular part of their brain, have difficulty generating sequences, generating rhythm. Music gives them time, sequence, rhythm, gives them tempo, gives them back their own tempo. Sometimes people with Parkinson move too fast or too slowly. You know, music gives them back a normal tempo. Um, you don't have to have a music therapist uh, if you have a little iPod which plays music, that can do. But music is very, very crucial for Parkinson's. With um, one of the patients uh, uh, who was very musical and who knew all Chopin by heart, uh, she would in fact spend much of the day completely frozen, usually with a finger on her eyeglass, but if one could get her to the piano, she could play and she was very fond of all Chopin. She very much liked the Chopin fantasy in F minor. So, again. And so forth. However, she didn't actually have to play it on the piano. If one simply said to her, Opus 49, this would stimulate its mental playing and its mental playing would be done at exactly the rate of the external playing. It would take just 14 minutes and in those 14 minutes she would be free from Parkinsonism. And the moment the last chord was played mentally, she was back. <laughs>